Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, I am gonna show you how I do a listing. I want you to look over my shoulder as I go about doing a listing. All right, so first thing I have to do is go get my, my um, graphics and I get that from Creative Fabrica. I'm gonna leave their link in the description below so you could have talked about it in my previous videos. So I'm opening my link to create Creative Fabrica and i'm gonna do a listing that's really popular on etsy right now and it is um regarding the roe versus wade where you have the supreme court that reverse roe versus wade so there's a lot of protesting going on and there are women looking for t-shirts to um you know speak and to say what they're thinking so there's a lot of that being sold on etsy so i am going to um also put a few listings of that up on my store so I'm here looking for now some graphics and as you can see I am gonna type in um, certain keywords that should help me find my graphics so let's see that happening and let's see what I find all right so I have one here but you have to make sure that it's something that you could use for print on demand and that that one this one doesn't allow you it does not say for commercial use and print on demand so i'm not going to use that one there's another one that i have that i downloaded earlier but i'm going to go back in and download it so you could see because it's important that you have those um the license to use it if not you could get yourself in trouble and get your listing or even your whole store shut down so you have to be careful what you're doing all right so this is one it's a bundle of six png files and if you see under the word download it says for commercial use and for pod listings so it's okay to use so i'm downloading that and i'm going to use one of these graphics out here to put on my t-shirt so I'm downloading it. Just click on download. It will download it to whatever you have your downloads on your laptop or desktop. And then it comes in a zip file. So you have to make sure that you extract um, the images from the zip file. And, you know, by now you should know how to do that. So we're downloading all that. And as you could see, have all of the six images with the transparent um, background, six graphics, I should say. With the transparent background okay we have that done let's put that aside and then we're gonna start our um we're gonna start our listing so who i use for my print on demand service is printify i'll also leave their information in the description box i have two stores linked to my printify i have my touch me textures clothing store and i also have this etsy shop so i'm making sure that i'm on the right one i come in and i um select t-shirts and I always usually I use the Bella Canvas t-shirt unisex because the quality is great. I did a video on that showing the quality between that and the Gildan 5000. I'll also link that in the cards above. So I'm using that crew neck um, t-shirt as my mock-up or to get my listing up and going. And um, the, the print providers that I use regarding that is either Monster Digital or Swift POD. And the reason I like these two is because they have a wide range of colors and sizes. So I'm gonna use Monster Digital to fulfill this and when anyone buys one. So now I'm adding my, my design. So the shirt you see comes out with a um, pre-printed area where you drop it in. I go into my device. I find my um, graphics in my download section and I open it up. And I'm gonna use the, the first one for now. I'm gonna do them all, but just for the video, I'm gonna do the first one just so you can see how it's done. So you click on it, highlight it, open it, and it uploads it direct, directly into your file and onto the shirt for you to see right away. So as you, I said, there is a pre-designated area to put your um, graphics. Don't just leave it like that, because as you see where the words fall, the word girls start right underneath the armpit. You don't want it that low. You want it to go up a little bit higher and you don't want it spread out 
all over the shirt because then it, some of the words could get hidden under the armpit, below the tummy, depending on the size of the shirt you have. So I'm just gonna adjust it and squeeze it in just a little bit and take it up just a little bit. Not too close to the neck, but um, just good enough for it to sit right on your chest area. So I'm just making sure that it's sitting well. And you must stay within that um, perforated section because if you go above, then it won't print properly. Now, another thing that I'm gonna make sure of is that the graphics, it's uh, centered. So Printify have this tool that's there where you just touch it and it'll make sure that it's centered. So if you want it off to the side, left side, right side, but we want it centered. Now I'm gonna choose the different color shirts that I want this printed on when it's being sold. I believe they give you a choice of 16, 16 shirts you get to choose from. So make sure that you click on every single one because you want to make sure that you could actually read the words. You don't want it to get lost on the background. So as you click each and every color, make sure that you're checking to see that your graphics is compatible to that color and it doesn't get lost. So that's what I'm doing right here. Like I said, you get to choose 16 and I usually take advantage of all 16. Some people say they only do black, white, gray, and sometimes pink or baby pink, but I do I do it all as much as I can that it looks good on because who knows what your consumer will actually buy. If you give them limited choices, they might just leave you and go to the next seller. So that's why I always choose the maximum amount. So we're making sure that it looks good on every single background that I'm picking. And I believe we're up to 13. So three more to go. And I never usually count. I just wait for it to tell me that I can't add any more. The, the, the way that happens is that green bar that says save product. If you pick too many, then um, it's not going to highlight green. And you're going to see it in a second when I do it. So we have 15 and then 16. I'm going to try one more to see what happens. And as you see, when I click it, you see the green bar went away. When I uncheck it, then it comes back. So that tells me you can't pick any more colors or, you know, switch out. So now we hit save product. And then that's saved now in an unpublished draft for you. You're still not ready to go yet. Cause remember after this, we have to upload it to Etsy. But before we do that, we have to make sure that we get our product mock-up. Yes, we could list it like this, but it doesn't look good. So we're going to get our mock-up and the way we do that, we go into Canva. Again, that's another tool I use. I have the pro version. We go into Canva and we're going to create a design and the size is going to be 2000 by 2000 pixels. So we're going to have that perfect square and we are going to create a mock-up for this shirt. Now where I get my mock-ups from, I have Creative Fabrica again. They have a ton of mock-ups. You could buy mock-ups from Etsy. There are some stores on Etsy that just sell only mock-ups at a reasonable price, or you could even get it right here on Canva where sometimes I get most of my mockups because Canva is a full resource of graphics that you could use. So we're getting ready to um, make a mockup for this listing that we're getting ready to put up on Etsy. So I'm uploading the graphics that I just put on that t-shirt. I need to upload it to Canva in order to use it. So let's upload. <laughs> we're waiting here we go it opens up in my download sections I click on it and I I'll open it so it can upload we can upload all six of them if we want to but like I said we're just working on this one for now so let's just deal with this one I'm just waiting for it to upload itself 
and then we could move forward. I'm not sure if I clicked it, so here I am checking to make sure that it's um it's working right. And then if you could see off to the left, that little blue blue um dot is filling. Oh, yeah, we opened up a second one by mistake. So the blue dot is filling up, and when it gets full blue, and then um the line, the blue line underneath the graphic disappears, then we know that we have fully uploaded. All right, now that we've uploaded, now we go in. I have in my um, file on this side everything that I've uploaded, and the mockup that I need is somewhere in here, so I'm going to find it now. I have an idea of what I want to use, so that's why you see me scrolling down and I'm searching for what I want to use. I have a ton of mockups, but there's one particular one I have in mind that I know I want to put it on that I think it will look well. So while I'm scrolling down, it seemed like I, um, not seem like, while I'm scrolling down, I came across another mockup that I also think it would look good on. Remember when I opened up the, um, no, we're not there yet, so no, scratch that. So as I'm scrolling down, I'm gonna see a mockup that I wanna use. It's a pretty pink color. And I think it would look really, really good on it. So therefore, I am going to use that as well as the original one that I was looking for. So here I am thinking about it, you know, either peach or pink, which one? So I go with the pink and then I'll add another page to uh, my canvas sheet, another 2000 by 2000 pixel because I'm going, I'm still looking for the original one that I wanted. And um, as I'm scrolling, I'm looking for it and <laughs> lost my place. So I got to go back down again. And um, there it is. It is the tan or beige one with the denim jacket. So I think it will look really good on here. So I have two mockups that I'm using from here. And all I'm doing is just stretching to make sure that um, it opens up. Make it a little bit wider. You want to fill up the whole space with the graphic or the picture. It just looks better. And that's what you see me doing here. Okay, now to add the actual graphics from the download page that we brought over so we have to scroll back up to the top now and then bring it over there's some stuff on here that i can delete it just takes just i just need some time to get over here and delete some of these i don't need everything over here so here we are with the graphics i click on it and it just jumps onto the shirt but we have to make sure that we resize it to fit we can't just throw it over there so we're resizing it to make sure that it looks good the visual is kind of small, so in order to take a better look and to have a better placement, um, I just move the slider so I could see better and make it, you know, just have a better um, workspace. So as we do that, we place it, make sure it looks good. You don't want it too low, don't want it too high, don't want it too narrow, don't want it too wide. It just needs to be perfect because remember you're selling this. So you want people to say, oh, I want that. So you have to make sure you do a good job. Spend some time taking care of your mock-ups and make sure you do mock-ups. So that's good. Now we can move on to the tan one or the beige one. So I'm going to just copy that same graphic, same size and place it onto the next one in hopes that it will fit perfectly, but of course not. So you have to manipulate it a little bit in order to get it to where you want it to be. So here we are, just here I am, I should say. Now here we are, here I am, just moving it around and making sure that it's sitting nice on the shirt. Okay, and then we're gonna, um, after it, we make sure that it's good, 
we are going to um, download this file as well. So yeah, still not happy. Okay, we're gonna move it over a little bit more just to be on the safe side. Now we're going to um, click on share because we're done. Yeah, we're done making sure the other one is good. Click on share at the top um, right hand. <laughs> okay, click on share and then scroll down and look for the word download. And we are going to download this and it's going to come as a zipped file because there's two items in there. If it was just one, it would just download it by itself. So we're going to click on download and it's going to download as a PNG file and it's going to download it to the download section of your desktop or laptop or whatever device you're using. And then again, you would have to extract it because it's a zip file. So you can't just um, save it like that because later on when you need it, you're going to have a problem opening up if it's a zip file. So make sure that you extract it right away. Even though it's two, extract it right away. And what I'm doing here, I'm saving it as um, a special name because even when you upload your photos to the web, you could also fix it that you have the search engine, search for it based on the name. So I think I've named the human rights and that's where it is. When you upload this photo now, then the search engines are gonna help you um, optimize it. All right, so now I'm in Etsy. This is my Etsy shop again. So what I wanna do now, I wanna find a good title for that shirt. So I'm, I'm duplicating the page and I'm going into Etsy Marketplace and I'm using their search bar to find you know, what's selling really well, what title is selling really well regarding the pro-choice t-shirts. So that's what I'm typing in the bar, pro-choice shirts or t-shirts. Now I'm gonna look at some top selling ones that are being sold without being, um, without having to run ads or anything like that, just to see how it's selling organically. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to imitate that listing. They say the best uh, form of flattery is imitation, right? Well, in this case, yeah, we're going to get some sales based on um, the top listings that's here. And I know you see this little blue bar to the left. That's a, um, a Chrome extension or a website called Everbee. That's what I help to use me with use with my analytics to help me get um, great titles and great keywords to actually put with these listings. And if you see this pink shirt right here, it is the same graphic that we have. It's a little bit different. Whereas their graphic, the bold letters are at the bottom where ours is at the top. So I'm gonna click on that and open it. And at the same time, I was looking at their sales to see how many sales they have. So they have a ton of sales on their store, but I'm not quite sure how many they have on this listing, but apparently this listing is a top seller. So with that, I am going to copy their title for the shirt and I'm going to use it in my listing somewhat. I don't know how their price is $11.99 for the shirt. I don't know how they're able to price it so low and still make a profit. I'm not able to do that. If I price mine at that price, I will be at a loss. So, but don't pay any attention to that. Price your stuff the way you want to price it and just watch and see it will sell. Okay, don't follow them and just price yourself into the gutter butt look at other things regarding the listing. So like I said, I'm copying their title and I'm going to use it in their list, in my listing, but I'm not going to use it exactly the way they have it. Don't ever do that because that's plagiarism and Etsy frowns on that. You know, don't copy everything exactly. I'm gonna, you're going to see how I go about it. So now I copy the list and I go back over to Printify where I have the draft saved. I open up the draft. And as you see, it's saved with um, a generic title, unisex jersey short sleeve tee. That is really not saying anything. They want you to put, 
you know what the shirt is about in the title and also in the description so as you see I'm here in the title I'm gonna move that over a little bit and then I'm gonna paste the title that I got from the other listing so now that we have it you're gonna read it over and you want to manipulate it a little bit like I said do not use the title exactly how you copy it you want to go in and change um, some things you want to add some more words you want to move some more some words around just make it your own but don't just copy the title word for word and leave it like that so watch as you see me um, do some manipulation to it Or another thing when you're doing your title um, some of the top sellers on Etsy that also have YouTube channel always recommend that you put the word gift somewhere in the title it could be just that one word gift you could put uh, for instance you're listing this shirt this could be an activist gift a feminist gift if you're doing like a coffee listing coffee lovers gift but make sure you put the word gift in there and when you're doing the title don't just put a run-on sentence with a title make sure that you use commas some people use a slash but um, it's recommended that you use commas to actually separate your title or your phrases and your words, okay? So that's just a tip for you when you're doing your listing. Don't just, just throw words up there and leave it. Make sure it make a little bit of sense. You know, if you have to use three or four words to make um before you use a comma, go ahead and do that. Also, if lately, um, Etsy has put in their blog section and it's recommended that you put some part of the title in the description and I usually go in and I put in like the first few words the one just before the first comma I'll go that I'll copy that and I'll put that in the description and stretch it out a little bit like for instance here I'm putting girls just want to have fundamental rights human custom crew neck t-shirts and then you put a period and then you go on with the rest of um, the description regarding this t-shirt. You could change this whole thing around in the description if you want to. But I don't suggest that. Leave it the way it is because it will also help you index in the search title. And these um, words that you see underlined in red, I have a Grammarly and that helps me. A lot it's a chrome extension and it helps you with your spelling your um, grammar <laughs> grammarly in word and um, it's a great tool to have so just a tip you know download that from the chrome the chrome store is that a chrome store or chrome extension store and put it on your um, your desktop and laptop it will help you a lot now I'm back in the title the reason is because I'm only allowed 140 characters in my title and I have way more than that so therefore that's why it's highlighted red and um, I won't be able to publish it if that's not fixed so I'm back in my title moving some things around deleting some words trying to use up the whole 140 characters which is also another suggestion and a tip do your best to use all characters if you can you may be off by two or three letters but it's okay now the pricing as you could see it comes with default 40 percent price mar margin but i'm taking it up to 65 and i'll tell you why later on um and then after you do that then you hit the word publish I always take it to 65 and you'll see like I said why I do that later on I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you why so now we publish we're waiting for it to publish to our Etsy store so we just watch and wait don't go over to Etsy just yet because if you go to early it's going to um, mess up your listings you're gonna have to do a refresh and a reload constantly all right so now we're in Etsy we're gonna reload once and hope and pray that our listing will pop up with all of the images because that's what usually happens. it will come up but the images won't be there so let's reload and see if our newly listed item is here 
Yep, and there it is, the top left. The newest one that was just listed. Girls just want to have fundamental human rights. So now we look, we see that um, it's listed. All 10 images are taken up. But remember, we have two images that we need to put here that we did the mock-up for. So you have to make a decision which two of these t-shirts you want to delete in order to be to replace them with your mock-up. So I usually find the not cutest one. <laughs> I don't want to say we're ugly and then I'll delete those two and then go get the mock-up so now you add your photo your file is gonna open on your computer you're gonna find where you have your mock-ups remember it's in the download section but it's in a different folder so you go in and you find it fundamental rights and you bring both of them the way you bring both together is you highlight one and you press the control key on your key keyboard highlight the other and then press open and they'll both come over now i'm moving the featured shirt i want into the primary place so and then the other one right behind it and i just move everything i just press down and move everything around the way you want it now don't just leave your images sitting up there like that you have to give it a title so what i do is i go in and after I make sure my title is good, doesn't always come over so perfect like this one. After you make sure your title is good, you go in and you grab the entire title. You highlight, grab the copy, you get the entire title. And what you do, you come up here to each and every single picture and you post that title in the description section of that picture. Again, what that does, it helps the search engine index your shirt. So when people go in looking for shirts on Google, this more than likely will pop up and it will take you back to your Etsy shop where they'll see this and other listings and make a, and make a purchase. So that's the reason you do that. Do not skip this step. This is something that Etsy has recently stressed Make sure you do this in order to help your store. Okay, they always give you great tips. So now you do that for every single shirt. And um, I think I'm gonna just skip ahead to make sure that this video isn't too long, which is already is. And I appreciate you for staying here and watching. So that's the third one. And then we're gonna skip ahead to the last one. All right, so that's done. Now what we need to do is people need to be able to see what's on the shirt because it's so far away on the slider. You're going to slide the slider over so you could see it, and then you're going to move the shirt and position it to where you could actually see what's going on, but still keep a little bit of the mock-up images in place so the customer could see it. You know, you work hard on it. You, you want them to see a little, a little display. Now, you keep sliding down because we have to finish the listing. This section right here that says add a video, it is recommended that you add videos if you have any, but if you don't, you don't. So, you know, you do what you can. In the future, I hope to be able to add videos as I'm doing listing. I'm gonna find a way to make little quick videos in Canva and um, add it here. So that would help also. Now we scroll down, make sure everything is good. We're back at our title. Um, about the listing, this is what Etsy pulled up based on your title and your description. So you just pass that. Now it says this optional section. Don't think it's optional, fill it out. So it's asking your primary color. I'm putting pink and then beige, but there's other colors, of course. The size is US letter. Sleeve length is short sleeve. Neckline is crew neck. You know, fill all this out. Um, and clothing style, I'm gonna put athletic, it's a t-shirt. So this other section that says, um, I'm not sure what it says, occasion. They have a drop down with a list. There's nothing here that actually um, describes this listing. You could look if you want to based on what you're listing, but if you have something, make sure you highlight it. If not, just leave it. And then holiday, it's not really a holiday, so leave that blank. Now we at the um, renewal section. 
you want to check automatic for renew it renews in 30 days if not then your listing will go away and then we have the description section it's asking you who's your print provider in this case it's printify for me and i have sections on my store because i have a general store so i'm putting that listing in the t-shirt section i have a number of different listings so now it's saying tags which is optional now where do you get your tags from again we're going to use that tool that i told you the chrome extension ever be and i'll leave a link for that below and also there's another tool called etsy hunt they both basically do the same thing so this etsy hunt is showing me all the keywords of this listing that we took the title from we're going to copy those keywords because that's one of the things that's making this seller get all those views copy those keywords and post it so you make sure you use all 13 now another thing you could leave all those keywords but i suggest that you don't you know delete one or two and put in your own it only makes sense again don't copy every single thing that the person is doing you want to make it your own just by a little bit uh, some variation of it as they say so here i am reading through the keywords deciding which ones to keep and which ones to get rid of and i believe i have one that i'm going to click off here and then now i need to add another keyword because you want to use up all 13 slots so i'm at a blank so i'm going back up to my title i'm reading over my title to see what keywords are in there that i may be able to use that's not already down here so i believe i'm using um which one did i find i believe it's our human rights is the one that i decided to go with because i don't have it down here in these list of keywords so that's what i'm gonna type in and I'm, that's what i'm gonna use type in human rights t-shirt or human rights shirt and add it to the tags i know they say it's optional it's not make sure you put in your keywords and use all 13 slots if you're not sure what to use just copy your title over and paste it there the comma will break it up now in shipping um to entice the customer i want to offer free shipping so i have to go in and i have to edit the shipping profile and this is where I tell you when I uh, price the item for 65% margin, that's why this comes in. I'm offering free shipping and I'm offering, um, and I have, I run a sale daily. So when I mark up the price to 65% margin, all of this is going to come back out. So here I am, I'm editing the shipping rules where um, the shipping service we use is USPS Priority and we offer uh, free shipping and then we just save. I don't offer shipping to Canada or anything, so only the US. So that's why you saw me deleting other countries. So now I'm looking over, see it's updating itself for shipping prices free. And now I'm looking over the listing to make sure that it's good that I didn't forget anything. Reading over to make sure all the words are spelled correctly no don't just throw stuff up there you have to make sure that you're doing this correctly or else people won't take you seriously as a seller okay i'm looking at the placement of all the other colors Mm hmm sliding down to make sure everything is filled in automatic listing printify t-shirt section tags this mm -hmm. scroll on by free shipping and then we're going to make sure that we go ahead and publish and the thing about this when you hit the word publish this little red bar is going to pop up. Ignore that. Just hit publish again. And it will publish to your Etsy shop or update, I should say, because it was already published when we sent it over from Printify. So now we're scrolling back up to the top. 
and making sure everything looks good and we also want to look at the listing itself and it comes right up here at the top so you could click and view your listing we're only doing that in this example otherwise i would just go on about one other thing i forgot that when you uh, make a listing make sure that you share it to your social media um in my case i have an instagram page dedicated to the shop i have a facebook Facebook page dedicated to the shop and I ha also have um, I also have a Pinterest that I'm able to pin this post on you want to help Etsy drive sales to your page you know you can't rely on them just want to do all of the work you have to help so now I was just looking over the store to make sure that everything is listed um, correctly and the colors are popping up and stuff. So make sure that um, you do that. And then that is the listing. So that is how you create and post a listing to your Etsy store. I do appreciate you looking over my shoulder. I hope this has been helpful to you. And until next time, be sure to Take care of yourself and your family. Bye-bye.